Hello everyone, welcome to KCON day two. It's my first KCON ever and I'm so excited to be here to share with you all. It is August 19, 2023. It's currently 10.04 in the morning. Today is Saturday. I am going to go check in right now. The convention has already started because it started at 10 and I think it's going till 6. So yeah, I'm super excited for today. Here's what the outside of the convention center looks like. So everybody had to go through security. That is what the line here is for. So after you go through security, you head up the stairs, go into the check-in place where you get your own wristband. And then you can walk inside the convention and start your day. Hello, it is 10.20 and I successfully checked in. Here's what the convention show floor looks like. And as you can see, there's so much to do here and there was quite a lot of people. And keep in mind, this was early on during the day. So I found out later on that this was not the full capacity. There were a lot more people who were coming in. So the first thing I did was I went and collected my free holographic pouch. This is for collecting stickers that you can obtain from completing various missions throughout the convention floor. I received my first freebie item as well as two of the puffy stickers for my pouch. Next, I went to this super fun booth where I got to create my own KCON ID card. Here's what it looks like. You get your picture taken and then you have your card right there that you can put your name when you got into K-pop and also put your bias name. And what's cool is that you can even decorate a top loader with stickers shown here and you can put your ID card within the top loader. This was a major highlight for me. Next, I decided to explore the show floor a little bit more and I noticed that there are plenty of things for you to look at and also shop. So if you're interested, there are plenty of things available for you to purchase as well. So what I spent most of my time doing was actually obtaining freebies. And let me tell you, I was fortunate enough to get a lot of really high quality freebies like the one shown here. And this was a lot of fun because I was able to walk around a whole convention center and see a lot of things as well as learn about a lot of the name brands that I didn't know existed before. Here's a little tip for you guys for next time you guys go to KCON LA, make sure you have an Instagram account and TikTok account because most of the sponsored areas will require you to follow them on social media, including Instagram and TikTok, for you to obtain their freebies. Did you guys know you can actually meet celebrities at this convention? So basically, I was in line for one of the missions at the Samsung Galaxy booth, and then I was told to clear the area because some celebrity was coming. After waiting for about 30 minutes, very, very walked in. Next, I headed over to the Jenny's Kitchen booth and this was honestly, hands down, one of my favorite areas to visit simply because I have watched this show on Amazon Prime. In addition to that, they had really fun photo ops like the one shown here, like look at how cute this is. And they also had life-size cutouts of the celebrities who are part of the show. I took a lot of photos with V from BTS as well as Park So Joon. Something else that I really enjoyed was seeing the Korean street food that was represented here. I think that was super awesome as well. I wanted to collect more stickers for my pouch, so I visited the K-pop booth where you could write a letter to your favorite member or group in these super cute postcards, and I got two stickers for that. Next, I headed over to the Seoul Edition booth, and guess who I saw? I saw Namjoon and Jin, and for those of you who watch my channel, you know that I am Namjoon biased, so I was very happy. This booth was pretty fun because they had this event where you had to go around to all the different areas within the booth to collect stamps and it was basically a booth to promote tourism in Seoul which was really awesome and they actually gave me a little card to scratch and I got some BTS Festa stickers which I was really excited about. Here's what the freebie bag looks like. Something I think the KCON LA convention does an excellent job at is promoting Korean culture and that's in the form of food or tourism or just the culture in general in addition to K-pop which I know a lot of people come here for and I think that's important because that makes this convention not only for K-pop fans but also for people who are just interested in a Korean culture in general. Next, I headed over to the photo booth, which was hosted by Samsung. This was so much fun because there were so many props to choose from. Plus, you do get an actual printout of the photos you took in the photo booth, which was super cool. 
I next headed over to the Incheon airport booth where they were handing out super cute luggage tags. I took some photos with the KISS FM heart and then walked around the convention a little bit more just to see what was there. And then I passed by the KCON stage where there were plenty of events being held throughout the day including special talk shows and also celebrity guest appearances and once again I just happened to be walking by and I saw another group come up on stage. This time it was I and I. Two, three. Okay. Oh, yes. We are yeah. I and I. Something I really love about this convention is that there's so many things you can do here that you will never be bored. Like you can walk around the convention all day long and there'll be things going on at every moment. And I think the ability to be around a group of people who are also sharing the same interests as you is really unique and truly special. Alright, I gotta talk about the McDonald's booth real quickly because this booth was so much fun. They had a photo booth, really cute decoration as you can see here. Plus, they were handing out free McDonald's themed top loader deco kits. Look at how adorable they are. I had too much stuff on me so I had to go drop some stuff off at my car. And then I wanted to go to lunch, get something to eat, so I checked out the food options. So these were the food options located in the back of the convention. So there were a few options available as you can see here. I was quite lucky to be there on that day because KISS FM was holding their K-pop village outside for the first time ever. That was ATs hyping up the crowd and then they performed their song Bouncy and let me tell you guys, the crowd was so hyped up, the energy was unreal. The K-Pop Village was a really fun event that was held outside directly across from the convention center. This was a free admission event with a variety of vendors including McDonald's who were handing out free samples. There were also a few giveaways going on throughout the day. I had a lot of fun participating in them, however, unfortunately, I wasn't able to win anything. There were also a few food truck options available, including Korean street fusion, a food truck for pizza, and then one for Lebanese style food. Now my favorite part about this outdoor event was the free boba. And after standing in line for about 10 minutes, I finally got my own cup. After finishing my boba drink, I headed back into the convention and at this point I was still a little hungry so I wanted to see if I could get some food in here and thankfully the McDonald's booth was there and I was really glad that they were handing out free fries as well as vanilla soft serve. So I stood in line for a pretty long time, maybe like 30 minutes I think, but I finally got my food. I was eating my food outside of the McDonald's booth and security was like, oh somebody's gonna come and 20 minutes later, Just B showed up. So that was really cool and this was officially my third celebrity encounter of the day. Next, I headed over to the K Connor Story booth where I took part in a really fun survey and they printed out a really cute receipt with a K drama quote with my signature on it. Plus, I got a sticker. Next, I headed over to the Rakuten Vicky booth where you could photobomb a K drama. It was super funny. Plus, they were handing out really cute freebie plushies. And lastly, I was just walking around the convention center before closing time and I came across this really cool AR photo studio where you could literally photobomb and be a part of one of the groups that were performing there, which was really cool. And this concludes my KCON LA mini vlog. I had such a great time at this convention and I honestly can't wait to go back again next year. And I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys liked this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next time, bye!